Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I'm having a pretty good day, pretty wonderful actually. Um, I heard the mayor of New York um, tell people that, um, you know, the, the medicine was from God and everything and assuming that what God tells her in her heart is what God says to everybody. We're individuals. The CDC almost killed me with their shit in 1976, and I and I was hospitalized. And uh, they took, um, well, it's about 20 years ago, oh, 30 now, 30 years ago, they took plugs out of my skin in three different places on my body and sewed me back up and sent samples of my body to the CDC and they couldn't tell me what it was. Well, we know what it was and I identified it with my microscope, but I'm just telling you, I have paperwork that they tried to hide after they screwed me over. So um, as far as somebody telling me what God tells me in my heart and, and how a sickness is going to make everybody sick unless I conform to the non-scientific twat telling me what to do. Nah, it's not going to happen. That's my opinion about all this bullshit. So, anyway, I'll share the link where she says um, what she says, the different things she says. It's, it's not one offense. Am I offended? Yeah, many are going to be offended in these days. So, right back at you, you. So, anyway, excuse me. Pardon moi. <laughs> you know, really. You know. Anyway. <laughs> these people, you know. When are they going to ever realize that um, they'll never have a peaceful night's sleep unless they drink a case of bourbon or something? You know, seriously. Do I wish anybody that um, doesn't know science to dictate what another person should do in their life? and all their offsprings and little babies and people that I love and care about in this world. Yeah, you damn right, it pisses me off. You damn right, it does piss me off. Would I do anything to her? Absolutely not. No, no, no. The only thing I would do is ask for her to get what she deserves. No more, no less. Oh, maybe a little more. <laughs> because that's in the in the scriptures, actually. It's like basically do unto others. But if you do unto others in a horrible way, and it's especially in mass quantities, whew, can you just imagine? Wow, there is not going to be enough toilets for that thing to scrub in the future. Literally. She'll have to eat her sandwich on the way to scrubbing God's toilet. She'll be so tired. Oh, that's horrible. The way she would let somebody else live on this planet while she eats steak. She wants you to eat worms. Don't you know that eating steak's going to be a privilege? Even a piece of lettuce will be a privilege. You know? So yeah, I don't take too kindly to these things dictating to everybody on the planet. I do not wish you well, and I am going to put your name on here. Well, I'll just put the governor of New York. You know who you are, and I know who you're not. Stop pretending you're closer to God than other people are. And uh, 
mind your manners, you're being paid by the people. Or step down, you think. You weren't even elected. There's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, you're real good, like some real human being would step into a public official spot when the electoral votes is what counts to put you in that position, but you could bypass that? Like we writing our own damn laws now, are we, baby? Huh? It's unconstitutional. I call for you to step out of office and go through the process like the rest of people in the United States are expected to. It's the law. You want me to look up the statue for that? For holding a public office? Have you been an attorney? That'd already be a strike against you, but you can't step into a political seat without election. You will legal thing. And you want to dictate to me, you lying sack of shit. <laughs> so. Oh, to my subs, <laughs> I bet you can guess what's on my mind, right? Yeah, it needed to be addressed. Because uh, another human being does not have the right to tell you what you're going to put in your body and how you can walk upon this earth in any direction you choose. Nobody has that right. When it comes to God and his children on this planet, you have the right to walk anywhere or motivate anywhere on this planet and this shit needs to be abolished yeah get a hold of the cartels and lock them up and then let the people motivate on this planet the way god has intended us to not with these border laws i have family and loved ones up in canada they're not separate from me that line only means a separation of money and finances between what somebody deems a country under their rulership. And that person is what? More important than you are? No, they're not. None of them are. Are they any less important to you? Probably in God's eyes. If somebody wants to spout about God, it'll be easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than it will for the rich to get into heaven. So That says a lot, doesn't it? Even a baby camel is a pretty large animal, you know? So anyway, there, there's a lot of people that say a lot of audacious things that they wouldn't say to people right to their faces. And you know that's true. Because, see, they don't want to have to answer to anybody. You can ask them questions, but they don't have to answer. But you have to give them money or they're going to send out the IRS with guns. How well do you really think that's going to go over? Honestly, be honest. So now we're mobbing the government. People aren't bad people like that, just ripping off the government. That is a very, very rare situation. It's all under control. It always has been. And now they have computers, but they need guns. Huh? Wow. 
So we're going to beat up, what, the little kids at the lemonade stands? Yeah, you, you fucking retarded. Yeah, take their childhood away. Little entrepreneurship is really a horrible thing for a kid, isn't it? Yeah, might as well tax their little asses, right? I really did, uh, it wasn't Make-A-Wish, it was some children's foundation, but we would have like um, carnivals in our yard with different activities, like we had a giant um, tractor inner tube that we'd bounce on. Uh, I, I, we'd show kids how to bounce on it all together or flip over it, or you could sit on it and bounce and um, walking on a barrel backwards and forwards and our dog did it and all kinds of tricks, you know, acrobatic stuff to um, earn money for kids. And I can't recall the name of the thing that kids in Minneapolis, maybe St. Paul too, were doing back when we were like in the late 60s. <laughs> it was like make a wish or something something like that so and walking for the red cross you know active stuff i wonder how many of these politicians did things like that they might have just to get their names out there even when they were kids their families might have pushed them out there nobody pushed us to do that we just kind of just did it we heard about it and thought it was a cool idea and ki that kids would pay like even a quarter to have fun for a few hours, you know. It's pretty cool. Then take it into school with a log of everything and hand it into like whoever was in charge of that, you know. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> so we went to a few other ones, like, or a couple in our neighborhood, and they were a little bit lame, so. Because we were always doing stuff, you know, walking on stilts, yeah, all kinds of things. <laughs> so, pogo sticks. My cousin gave me their pogo stick. <laughs> and I thought, you're lost because, um, you know, I did get a little crazy on it a couple times. You get really high. And... You might even go kind of sideways and then you got to jump. And that's what I was thinking too before I made this video. I was going to tell people it's easier to run upstairs than it is downstairs. Except, and sometimes it can be easier to run up a mountain than it is down a mountain. But if you pretend like you're a mountain goat, and you can jump even from side to side and land it like you're skiing. That works too. So, um, but yeah, I've had some crazy times in my life like that. <laughs> but it is a little easier to run upstairs. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. Downstairs can be tricky, but there's there's way you can even jump like three, four at a time if you're going downstairs as somebody's chasing you. You know, that might be an important trick or run alongside one and run back up. If, you know, whatever it takes. <laughs> so, I've been chased quite a bit in my life, so probably sometimes I might have deserved it. Sometimes not. It's like when I was a kid and we'd play tag and my brother would uh, like tag me and then everybody would run if they were bigger than me. And it's like, well, what fun is that? And there I stand, you know, <laughs> jerks. So anyway, and we had a pretty active neighborhood. The people in back of us had a pool. And until um, the kid threw a rock at my dog, we were all swimming. But, um, yeah, things changed. Well, and then he was mean, too. We were all playing, like, um, I think baseball.
could have been football. We were doing something. I think it was baseball or kickball. But he was a mean kid. He ended up dying. His um, Their father owned a dry cleaning business, and he was sniffing that stuff and fell and broke his neck in the tub. And the next day, his mom and sister couldn't get in there, and the brother and in the bathroom. They had a couple bathrooms in that house, but um, yeah, it was weird. They were weird. But anyway, I don't wish him to die, but yeah, he really did um, throw a big rock at my dog. He wanted to take his head off, but he ran into his garage and shut the door. Otherwise, I would have. <laughs> it's not a doubt. So, and he, he was older, a couple years older, too. But, but yeah, he was just a shit, and nobody really even wanted him around because he was just an antagonist, you know? He'd wreck the whole day for everybody, like his little sister and little brother and, you know, and the other neighbor kids. They're just like, just be cool, you know? Everybody's telling them, come on, let's just play. And, uh, because probably he wasn't very athletic. And if you have those people around, then he did should have said he didn't want to play. You know, he could have been a cheerleader. You know. <laughs> or just went back in the house and kept it quiet. Oh, yeah, I think I'm done chewing out the governor of New York. But, um, I think it's funny. A time for a judgment is whose video I'm going to share. He's uh, He makes comments about her painted on eyebrows, you know, like, like did you paint them on with a Sharpie and different things like that. That's funny. Oh, my goodness. I really don't care. She's not an ugly woman. She's pretty enough. She does stuff. <laughs> you know. When you don't care about e or um any anybody and you're pretending like you do and you're pretending you're getting your secret messages from God. Well did anybody ever tell you that God talks to people individually? The spirit talks to everybody on an individual basis within their selves. You and your secret messages for everybody. Everybody's got a secret message for you too. Burn in hell. That's not bullying. That's the facts of life. You get what you give. Yeah, I'm no, see, these people can put a fake smile on their f face. I don't give a hoot. I know for a fact I'd have more fun out by a bonfire singing with my broke friends than she ever could doing her la -di da crap. And believe me, I've been in the situation where I was forced to do that crap. And you're all a bunch of um, funky junkies, you know. I mean it. You're too strange for me. I do not want you telling me what to do. You are not worthy to come in my house and talk to me like another woman on this planet, let alone dictate what my grandchildren are going to do. And I'm not the only woman that feels like this, or person. My adrenaline is up, people. <laughs> I just got through exercising before I got on here. I'm like, whoo, all over the place. <laughs> That's what happens, you know. <laughs> wink, 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 wink.
that's the energy that our um, people in uh, their cabinets, <laughs> like a bunch of vampires, uh, sitting in a cabinet. <laughs> what is it? The lion witch in the wardrobe. <laughs> Cabinet members. <laughs> They're from Narnia. <laughs> yep. I finally figured it out. No wonder you're so weird. You don't even belong here. Yeah, they don't. And there's people like me that are here to square this stuff around. You're not getting away with what you're trying to do. It may look like it for a little while, but you know that book that you tried to um, push on people as truth? It's going to become true for you. How do you like that? Yeah, the people with their spirit in them. The spirit that told me, don't get another secret potion. It's not good. You're strong by yourself. Need somebody with a bicep and forearm like that at 64 and a half in office, kicking ass instead of this wimpy ass things. Put a t-shirt and a pair of jeans on and get work. Get out there on the streets and get them junkies off the street and in the hospital and get them some help and some emotional care. What the hell is wrong with you? And do it every day until they're no more on the streets. And a child on the street and you're sitting in your cabinet, you freaking vampires. Or they're out in the hills or under bridges or any, in parks. You should be so ashamed. There, there should be no, no limit to what America money could print up and help the people instead of manufacturing weapons in other countries and paying them for wars that we don't even want. I know I'm not alone in my feelings. I see the vibe of the people. I know the pulse of the people in the world. There's very, very few that have been um, uh, culturally conditioned. You get my, get my gist. I'm not going to try and go through that word again right now, but with their culture conditioned, to act the way they're acting, whether their forefathers or whoever were like in the armed service or um, grew up saying the Pledge of Allegiance like some little freaking Nazi. And you know when that first began? That's exactly the stance they took instead of putting their hand on their heart. Back in the, I think it was the 50s or like 1954 or don't quote me exactly, but somewhere in those days, all that was implemented in our school. It's like for Doug's generation, he's 72. It's like born in 1950. Maybe it was implemented in 49 when his mom was pregnant. All these things kind of um, around that bloodline kind of correlate with the names and the numbers and everything you know so yeah what was like like uh a year um you were born or somebody that you're close to was born and what was implemented in that year it seems like just intentional to annihilate this um vibe that you have in your family you know for your family to try and stop the best that could be the best outcome for everybody, you know. 
So yeah, this is all intentional and this is war. You're damn right it's war. People ask public officials questions and they just walk away or don't get back to you and don't answer your questions. So some people take to the streets, which is just foolish. There's nothing you can do out there. Use your mind, use your heart, and use the Holy Spirit. That spirit will even guide demons in their direction. And that's how they suffer from their own foolishness. They can push it aside and say, well, I'm not foolish because this serves a certain group and that this is the chosen group. Nobody has nothing to say who's chosen or who isn't chosen when your heart shuts off. You know? Satan is not in control of souls at all. You choose it yourself. He can't take anybody's soul without their permission. So why are these people pretending that everybody out there in the world isn't of God? But they are. Just as much as the Blue Jays singing out there right now in my tree. You know? Everything. I do believe there are some um, of the grotier creatures and I'm not going to have to say about anybody's bloodline, but um, like insects or whatever, are parasites, are some doing of the dark cabal, like uh, Plum Island and letting Lyme disease out, you know, and right over on the East Coast, not far from me. And yes, I've had Lyme disease with the bullet mark and everything on me. So has Doug. It's not a secret, but it's, you know, there's certain things you can get in your body and it can have such an effect on your heart. Once your heart is scarred, it's, it hurts, it's damaged. It's like if you have a heartbreak so bad, your heart actually physically is broken. It affects you emotionally and physically on the daily. So having good friends to lift your spirits and, you know, because I really do love my friends out here that I've made and my subs. Um, you could be anywhere in the world and you chose to come and see what I'm up to. And I'm honored with that. You're precious and I appreciate you, you know, to take time. And the real that's what i'm looking for that's what you're looking for we're looking for the real on this planet you know so. just heard helicopters going over not too close but they've been spraying the heck out of my skies our skies for two days now you know Probably longer. I know they go up higher and do stuff when people are sleeping. And they've never stopped, you know. I think a lot of the orbs we see are like time-released little gadgets with poison. That's just one of my thoughts. And, you know, and here's another thing, too. If I get cut off, once again, I love you all. But <clears throat> the last topic for the day is, uh, or and then I lost it. I'll get back there, maybe. Or maybe I'll come back on or write it in the comments. I'll get there. Oh, just a minute. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably get it later and then whatever. I'll just sit here for a minute. And, uh, the 
that's crazy. I was thinking about the bugs and the air and then spraying and oh, there we go. The government is supposedly going to be able to tell my neighbors if I don't like them and if I don't agree with what they agree with. Well, guess what, government? Everybody I know knows I hate your flipping guts. Stick it up your ass. Got it? Nobody tells me what to do. As long as I'm not hurting other people, you can just totally off. Stick that in your, your log books. Jot my name down. And don't forget. It's on your soul, you wicked, filthy scum of the earth. Okay, I think um, that should just about do that. You know? Because I really do. They're disgusting. I worked for the government, too, in a, several different capacities. So um, it's not like I didn't try to be an understanding little subservient bitch like the rest of them. But whew, what a bunch of sellouts selling out other human beings for their own gains. I love you all. Have a really beautiful weekend. I'm going to carry on with my wonderful day. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.